So I have the mechatronic unit here ready to uh, go back in. I'm just going to temporarily install it, connect it, and see if I can clear the codes. I've got the, uh, I don't have the cover on it yet, but I've got it siliconed. It's got this long sensor. It makes it a little difficult to uh, work into that hole there. really have to be uh, delicate with it. There's, you don't want to force it. Just uh, go gentle with it and it will work its way in. There's some guide pins. So I'm not going to torque it down right now. I'm just putting in a couple screws to hold it in place. At this point, I'm just electrically testing it. I'll have to uh, remove it again and seal it up if it passes the test. There are some uh, guide pins. You want to jiggle it around a lot and make sure that you get it in fully seated. And there's a connector here that goes on later. You have to kind of get that wire out of the way while you're Installing the mechatronic that clicks in. There's just uh, one other connection up here. Circular uh, connector. It has a rotating cam lock. It clicks into place. She so sees in now. I'm going to now lower the car down and hook up the battery and connect my uh, laptop to it and communicate with the the modules hopefully reset it and move on well it looks good initially I've uh, installed the battery and turned on the ignition and I no longer have the PRNDS flashing blocks so um, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to the uh, computer and see if I can find any error codes and clear them. 
Okay, so here I'm looking at the VCDS. I'm going to select the uh, automatic transmission. And I see fault codes there. That's what I was seeing before. Upper limit exceeded, I guess because the wire came off. I'm going to go ahead and clear the codes. Awesome. Now I just need to um, raise the car back up on the lift and uh, disconnect the battery and uh, pull out that module one more time. Seal it up and and install it one more time. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, actually, very happy about it. I believe I've got the transmission repaired. It was a uh, probably the most difficult repair I've ever done on a car. Mostly because of the uh, it was going into something that was potted with a silicone jelly. and not having any information on it at all you know that always helps I'll disconnect the battery here I like to disconnect both that negative can sometimes flop over there and get on it get on it but if there's two disconnected there's a chance of that so this is the connector I need to uh, disconnect first so I decided to go ahead and use this ultra black gasket maker by uh, Permatex it's supposedly oil resistant hopefully it'll stand up to the DSG fluids I've already degreased it and degreased the panel too. I'm going to apply some around the edge here and drop the panel in. Actually, I'm going to use a key. I like using these keys here when I'm using silicone in a tube. Makes it a lot easier to Get the silicone to flow eat smoothly. Try to get it to seat in properly. I'm also going to apply some around the outside here. 